All right, Rankin family. So we are in Cypress, Texas, in the community of Bridgeland, looking at a beautiful Perry Homes property. Now, I can't wait for you to see inside here because most folks on this channel love Perry Homes, including myself. So on the exterior, we are going to have the beautiful stucco all around. And not to mention right here to the right would be your garage. It is the sales office since this is a model house. But I love the fact that you have not one, but two Juliet balconies on the second floor, which is absolutely fantastic. Going into your cupboard front porch, you are going to be greeted with these two lanterns, which adds a nice appeal to the property. And I love the fact that in the covered front porch, the stucco extends as well. You're going to have this double door, six pane glass door, which is fantastic with tile flooring. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside of the foyer. Wow. So I'll do a quick pan. Look how beautiful the foyer is. So the first thing you are going to notice is the curved staircase with the candlelight brass chandelier right when you enter. Absolutely love that. Now we'll start right here to the left in the study and go from there. So inside of this study, if you notice, you have three windows on the left side. You have the built ins, which of course is an upgrade. Course, sometimes you may or may not want that, but it is certainly a nice option, just adds a nice appeal to the property. Easily putting your books or some decor on top, not to mention you do have cabinetry on the lower part as well. And let me go ahead and open this up so that way you can see how much space is inside of here. Hope this kind of shows you how much space, but I love the fact that you have ample amount of space inside of here, which of course, this is being close to 5,000 square feet, and you can tell immediately when you walk in. It's a huge property. You have the double French doors right here as well. Look at this. The desk, it's a nice size desk, and it just looks tiny in here because of the amount of space you have. So the flooring, you do have wood flooring inside of here. Some folks love the lighter wood flooring. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But right to the right, when you enter, you're going to have your formal dining room. You have the brass candlelight chandelier right above your dining room table. You have that accent wall as well. And I just love that you have a decent amount of space inside of here as well. So what we'll do is we'll continue along this way. I love this space right here. You can utilize it as a sitting area, Christmas tree, what have you. And not to mention right here to the left, you can add some decor how they have as well. And I love right here, if you can imagine your nice, paintings right here. I mean, if you want to go expensive, you could do so. But if you don't, you can get something nice from, you know, an Ikea or something. But look at the great room. Absolute fantastic. Look at the amount of windows that you have bringing in all that natural light. You know, realtors, we like to say that all the time. Floor to ceiling fireplace. It's the tile exterior. Crown molding extends in the great room all around absolutely love that and i really just love the fact that we have neutral colors inside of here this is the 80 foot product as you can see in the backyard you have plenty of space it's 80 foot wide and i'll do a quick pan wow absolutely gorgeous so right here you do have your beautiful fireplace you know of course that's one of those things that being in houston you really want a fireplace even though it is hot some of the most of the time most of the you know year round you definitely want to have a nice fireplace if you can add it, if you can afford it. There's been some times we've seen some auto houses that come without the fireplace. In my opinion, don't like it. Just be, uh, just be frank with you. So going inside of the kitchen, you have these waterfall quartz countertops. If you notice, it's an oversized island. Right there, oh, you have these stack cabinets as well, crown molding that extends, and the double oven. Absolutely love that. You're just going to notice that inside of here. Not to mention right here, you can use this as an informal dining room or you can use it as a breakfast nook, just depending on your own personal preference, but absolutely loving it so far. What we'll do is we'll start over here, then we'll go to the primary and then we'll make our way upstairs. So inside of here, you do have a guest bedroom. Don't worry, this is not the primary, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you notice on top, we do have the nine foot ceilings inside of here and just look at how much space you have inside of here. I love the decor. Now, I'd really love to hear your thoughts as far as the paint inside of here. Do you like this color green 
or would you prefer to just keep it neutral how most of the homes that we see are really just depends but you do have the oversized windows and i love the fact that you can lay down and look in your backyard cover backyard patio you can look towards the lake of course if you have a lake property or lake access and they have four lots that are available that can accommodate this plan as of the time of the recording so make sure that you reach out if it's something where you want to find out more information so the good thing inside of here you do have a full size bathroom attached to your guest room quartz countertops white cabinetry black hardware the beautiful mirror frame that we so much love on this channel and not to mention the higher raised ceilings extends inside of the bathroom so you have the tile shower surrounded tidy here black shower heads and the shower bench absolutely love that wow and then let's look inside of the closet and then so the thing to keep in mind too is because uh, going into your garage if you're coming in from your garage you are going to have that mud room which a lot of folks love. And I'd love to hear your thoughts as far as that's concerned. I know it's a subtle detail. Most of the homes, especially at price points like this, you are gonna have that mud room, but love to hear your thoughts. And also love to hear your thoughts. Do you like the mud room utility room combo or would you rather keep it separate? I'm finding folks are kind of mixed match about that, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on that concern. And then what we'll do is how you doing? We'll continue around. So this is gonna be where your mud room would be uh, as far as entering in from your garage. So keep in mind, some of these are upgrades. Of course, if you wanna find out what is upgrades and what's not, reach out, we can see exactly what we can do to accommodate you. So inside of here, you are gonna have your full size utility room. Inside of here, it's not a utility room, mud room combination, but you do have plenty of space for the oversized washer and dryer. Quartz countertops inside of here, plenty of cabinetry space. I'll go ahead and open this for you. Look at that. And I love the fact that we have it right above the washer and dryer. Wow. Over here is perfect folding laundry, things like that. And then in here would be your storage closet. Don't worry, this is not the pantry. And like I always say, keep in mind that this is the model house. I say that over and over and over just to make sure that you uh, can understand that because sometimes it looks weird and funky and things like that. So that way you don't have to worry. But let me go ahead and show you the actual pantry. I know we didn't get to see inside that, but look at this. Since you have a lot more space in here, full size walk in pantry. Okay. All right. And then right here would be your powder bath. Look at this. You have this accent right here, which is very unique. You have the baseboards that extends here with the molding. Now inside of here, you have the darker gray cabinetry with the brass hardware. So really just depends. The good thing is once you purchase a home, how it typically works is you'll go ahead and go to the design center and within the first 21 days or so, give or take. And then that's when you end up uh, picking the options, which makes the most sense for you. So keep in mind that you do have two sets of stairs. You have the stairs case that's going right there where the guest room is, not to mention you have the staircase right when you walk into the foyer. But we'll go ahead and look at the primary before we go ahead and take a look upstairs. Wow. Moment of silence for this right here. Absolutely fantastic. So you have the double tray ceilings. I love the double tray ceilings, quite frankly, because just the simple elegance of it. I mean, goodness gracious, we see tray ceilings all the time, or all the time rather, but we don't really see the double tray ceilings as much. And I really feel like it's a shame. Sometimes I see these builders and I'm saying, you know, if you have the double tray ceilings, even maybe some uh, shiplap on top or, you know, a different feature, I think it would really make the property stand out. But love that Perry Homes done this. You have the bay windows over here as well, add your nice little sitting area. The wood flooring extends in here as well. But I just love the fact that we have the tall ceilings inside of here. 14 foot ceilings, which just gives it the illusion of having a ton more space. I mean, quite frankly, you have a ton of space in here anyway, but adding the raised ceilings in here is just icing on the cake. 
king size bed look how comfortable that looks very furry i love it but king size bed two oversized nightstands and look how much space you still have on both ends love it now let's continue along to our ensuite inside of here you have the tray ceilings and if you even can tell you have the waterfall brass um shower head right there in the shower but we'll get to that in a minute over here to the left you got the his sink quartz countertops white cabinetry with the uh brush nickel hardware you have that oversized mirror right there as well with the lighting fixture and to the right is the hers sink now we have our vanity area over here brush nickel again quartz countertops oversized mirror again and then you have these privacy windows right here so that way you can take a bath in peace now right here you have your rectangular soaking tub absolutely love it and look at our walk-in shower wow folks plenty of space you got the tile on the lower exterior to cover up for a little bit more added privacy and then let's go inside of here it's going to be your first closet and real quick folks if you are a returning viewer welcome back always great to have you and if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Marcus Rankin. I am a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single week from folks looking to make a move out to Texas. And that's regardless if you're thinking about Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, Corpus Christi, Lubbock, you name it. We have the right connections for you. So consider reaching out, booking a call, finding out what we can do to help you and get you taken care of and consider hitting that subscribe button i mean i really love for you to become a part of the ranking family i mean we're growing every day and i really appreciate it and that way you don't miss a tour when i release them every week all right so we got two full-size closets which is perfect they didn't skip on one or the other sometimes you see one closet that's tiny and then the other one's huge of course, you know who that one's going to. So I love the fact that both of them have plenty of space. But yeah, I absolutely love this. As we go upstairs, let me know what you're thinking about it so far. Are we giving it a 10, 9.9, 9.8, all the way down to a zero? If it's a zero, I mean, goodness gracious, I hope, hope we're not looking that bad. But looking at going to the front door, I love that you have that space up there, almost like that uh, clear story windows where you can go ahead and add some more decor if you wanted to. So right here, we do have the stained wood, it looks like. We have the iron railings going up the stairs. And what I'll do is a quick pan so that way you can see the great room. Look at that. Wow. Love it. And then one quick pan over the foyer before we check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and start and tackle this side of the house first. It's huge, huge, huge. All right, so this is gonna be our game room. You can overlook right here on the, uh, the you can look on the, the great room right here over the ledge, but look how much space you have inside of here. So your pool table right here, you have a nice amount of space for the seating area over here as well. We've been seeing that quite a bit, like that floating, shelf right there with the TV. Usually what this is, is sometimes they'll come up here and go ahead and go through some of the plans and things like that. So you don't have to worry about that. Don't hold it against them. But you do have a lot of space in here. So I love the fact that you have a powder bath as well, right off here. So that way they don't have to worry about going to the hallways or going to the bedrooms to use the restroom. This is perfect. And then if you can recall, this is where we would come up from where that guest room was. So we have carpet upstairs right here would be your attic area. You got your water heater over here, but most folks would just keep some of their decorations and things like that just so they can have it out of sight, out of mind. And then what we'll do is let's go this way. This should be our media room right here. So we got a media room, game room combo. Wow. This is probably the biggest media room we've seen on this channel. Wow. Look at this, folks. Goodness gracious. This is almost as big as the uh, the primary 
minus the raised ceilings. But goodness gracious, look at this. You can fit a whole classroom in here. So right here, I love that we have a projector over here. You got your beautiful lighting fixtures that should be able to dim. And if not, that's easily doable. We can go ahead and get that for you. But look at that. Plenty of space. I love these comfortable sofas right here that you have. Whoo! I don't think you can get much better than that, folks. But look at that. You can easily add plenty of theater seats inside of here. You can probably fit maybe eight to ten and have them spread out so that way everyone has rooms or has room. Let's go ahead and go to the fur bedroom up here. So I'll come back to this so that way you can see. But look, if you recall, we have the Juliet balcony that was right there when we were walking in. So this will be your first one right here. Wow, I love it. You have your Sputnik chandelier right here, queen size bed, two mini nightstands. Wow, look at this folks. Now, if it's your son or your daughter or someone else living up here that's a smaller child, you might appreciate the fact that they can't open that. Of course, this is for aesthetic reasons, most of the folks are not going to be going out there to relax. There's not much space out there anyway. It's really just for an added feature to your house, just maybe dramatic effects, but loving it. Full size walk in closet right here as well. Continue along. You have your full size bathroom, shower tub combo over here. It slopes a little bit right there. Not the biggest fan of the slope going into the uh, shower, but. That's a, that's an easy fix. You can get that taken care of during the building process. Right here, you have your chrome chandelier. We got our mirror frame. We have our quartz countertops, white cabinetry with stainless steel hardware. So as soon as you walk in, that was to the right. Let's go ahead and tackle the left before we go into the next bedroom. This is what we're working with. Got our storage closet. And this is what we got. Goodness gracious. Plenty of space in these bedrooms. You have your stainless steel chandelier right here. LED or um, ceiling fan rather. Stainless steel ceiling fan. It's an LED ceiling fan. But look at that. Wow. Full size walk in closet again. And like I said, quite frankly, folks, I mean, if you're going to be in a property of this magnitude, because I believe, yeah, this is literally the biggest Perry homes that we've seen on this channel. The other one that was coming close to it was 4,400 square feet. And it was a two story. It was the one out in Siena, the Valencia by Perry homes. But this is quite literally the biggest Perry homes we've seen on this channel. Shower tub combo, Jack and Jill bathroom, brush nickel. Wow. And this will be that other Juliet balcony. As you recall, we saw two when we were walking in, but I just love it. And even for the simple fact, not to mention, you do have other, you know, more windows to go ahead and bring in natural light. So that's perfect. And so just a little bit about uh, Bridgeland. So Bridgeland is a huge community that's being built in Cypress, Texas. There, oh my goodness, you wouldn't imagine the amount of uh, acreage over here. I mean, it takes, gosh, 15, 20 minutes to get to one side from the other for me. So I love it. A lot of times, the only reason why I don't like to mention as much about the communities um, when I'm doing these property tours is because of the simple fact that you can build this plan in other 80 foot sections. So just a case in mind, I have a client that is uh, that reached out looking for a particular plan that can only be built on 80 foot sections. Um, but that section is in this community as well as another one down south, which is in Meridiana. So I never really want to give people the assumption that this plan is in this community only. A lot of these major builders like the Perry Homes, the Coventry Homes, the Newmark Homes, they're building the same plan in other locations. And I know I've mentioned that multiple times to um, some of the early subscribers, but I just really want to Harp on that just so we can get a quick reminder. But I just wanted to get a quick more pan. Wooden range hood right here. Privacy windows on top for the stack cabinets. First time we've seen that. A lot of times you might want to, or we had the windows that you could just see straight clear through. 
add some decor to it. Wow. But this is going to be our backyard. Look at this. Can you imagine having this view out here? Your extended patio over here, built-in fireplace with the brick. Whoo! Can't get much better than that, folks. But in the backyard, if you recall, the stucco extends over here. We have an extension of the covered backyard patio, tile flooring right here. And wow, just look at that, folks. Oh my goodness, can't get much better than this. Right to the left, you have Tripoint Homes over there. You have Taylor Morrison over here to the right. And another Tripoint Homes that we had showcased a couple weeks ago, I believe. So, but look at that. If you recall, this view looked very similar or familiar because we showcased the other builders in this community. But goodness gracious if you recall right over there to the right we had our primary right there look at all those windows for our great room right there to the left we had our guest room and going straight up and through the door that's going to be upstairs so other than that folks that was the gorgeous perry homes hi regular family so that was perry homes right here in bridgeland let me know in the comments what you folks thought about it. Me particularly, I have to give it a 10. Perry Holmes did not disappoint on this one. I'd love to hear your thoughts below. If you want more information about this plan or any plan that I showcase on this channel, reach out to the information below. We'll get you taken care of, and I'll see you folks on the next property tour.